Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today I'm going to walk you through the tips and techniques needed to make flour tortillas on the grill. Alright, you're here, you clicked on the video, so I know you're at least curious about making flour tortillas and I'm here to tell you, it's not that difficult. Now, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you may remember Chef Britt's video on bacon fat tortillas, which is a fantastic recipe. In fact, we're going to use that recipe as a jumping off point for what we're doing today. Now, Britt rolled her tortillas out by hand to make them large enough for burritos. We're making taco sized tortillas today, which allows us the opportunity to use a technique that's not only going to make it easier and quicker, but honestly, it's just a lot of fun. So let's get started by making the dough. So we're gonna start with 350 grams of warm water. This works out to about a cup and a half. This is right around 100 degrees, as is the pork fat or lard that we're gonna add. And we're doing 120 grams of that. That's about nine tablespoons. Next, we're gonna throw in our salt, 16 grams of the Jacobson habanero infused kosher sea salt. That works out to about four teaspoons. And then our flour, 600 grams of flour, or about four cups. So we're gonna mix this up using the dough hook. We'll go third speed for five minutes. All right, there's our five minutes. So in that time, we've really worked that gluten. It's gonna help to make a nice stretchy tortilla. At this point, I'm gonna transfer this over to a bowl to rest. Just gonna hit it with a little bit of fat first. It's a lot easier to work with this dough if your hands are a little bit wet. Now there's no leaven or anything in this, so it's not like we're waiting on it to rise but we do need the gluten strands to relax before we can really ball these up any further. So now I'm just gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature for half an hour. So now that that dough's rested, we're gonna portion out and shape up these tortilla balls. We got some flour down on our work surface here. Get a little bit more on top. We're gonna cut these into 35 gram portions. All right, all portioned out. You should get about 30 portions of tortilla here. What we're gonna take now is just clean off a little spot. We're just gonna roll these in the ball. You can just cup your hand just a little bit like that or even work it right around the edge just to form a nice tight ball, just like that. And these we'll put onto a parchment lined sheet pan. All right, so we're gonna give these a generous dusting of flour here. We'll throw some plastic wrap over them. And again, they need to rest for about 20 minutes before we can press them out. Well, the dough is rested and I've fired up the Napoleon Phantom 500 gas grill. This is where we're gonna be doing the cooking. So let's get a closer look at the setup. Now we've got our cast iron griddle in place with about medium heat underneath it. It's been preheating, so it's just about 425. And then here over the infrared side burner, I've got my Finex cast iron flat press preheating. Now this is like, this is really where the fun happens. Let's go ahead and get the tortilla ball on the griddle. All right, so we're gonna press one down just a little bit right here. I grab a grill press until it squeals. Not perfectly round on that one, but not a bad first one. So I'm gonna flip that, move it to the back, and we're just gonna keep loading this thing up. And what we'll start to see here is these are gonna puff up as they start to cook through. So now all that water that's inside the dough, it starts turning into steam. The tortillas start to puff up as they get just a little bit of crisp on the outside. We want just a little bit of color on these. 
We're going to cook them to the point where you could eat them right off of here, but at the same time, they're not going to be so cooked that you couldn't reheat them for later, because obviously you're not going to eat probably 30 tortillas in one sitting. Just keep these warm inside my little makeshift tortilla warmer here. see at this point I'm just leaving my press inside the grill to stay hot and the reason that we need for it to be hot is because if we press this down with a cold press it, that tortilla is going to stick to the cold press so both your griddle surface and your press surface need to be hot in order to prevent sticking now these tortillas are definitely best hot off the grill. You'll find that out when you make them because it's irresistible. You're going to eat them while you're cooking them. Uh, but if you're trying to pack these and save them for later, you know, put them in half dozen packages, vacuum seal them ideally, or at least a Ziploc bag. You can throw them in the freezer, pull them out when you know you're going to want them. And then you can always warm them back up from there, whether it's over an open flame or cast iron. And they're really good when you crisp them up like a quesadilla or a quesa taco. Incredibly flaky. I'm tired of talking about them. Let's just eat one on camera now. These really hold their heat, just hanging out in the bowl here. These things are almost like translucent. You know it's going to have a nice chew to it. Already a little bit flaky too, though. Dang. They're so chewy. That lard makes them so tender, that pork fat just the right amount of salt. Really don't pick up a lot on that habanero part, but it's a fun little twist to throw in there. You could use any kind of salt you like. We can just mow down on these all afternoon. So hopefully you guys feel like you can give this a shot. I think you're gonna succeed. I think you're probably not gonna wanna buy tortillas from the store anymore after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.